yeah, I was still really nervous to do it, but you know, I did a lot of research and I made a decision. And so I dyed my hair yesterday with that box dye and it came out very orangey. But then I just decided that I'm going to go to a salon and have them fix it. But I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride of uh, let's hopefully fix my hair. Hi, this is Katie. Welcome to another vlog. Uh, first, let's just address that yes, my hair is a different color and yes, it is basically orange. I am going to do my makeup quick because I have to leave the house soon, but I need to tell you a story and I'm just gonna tell you now while I'm doing my makeup. So if you watched, I guess maybe one or two of my videos over the last month, I have mentioned that I've wanted to dye my hair for a while. I used to dye my hair a lot and then I just haven't done it in almost a year. And just basically over the last year, I've been thinking I wanna dye my hair but I just don't know what color and blah, blah, blah. And I know that I've mentioned that in one or two of my recent videos. And so I finally made a decision on a color. I did a bunch of research, looked at a lot of pictures, finally decided on a color of at-home box dye, Madison Reed brand, at-home box dye. And yeah, I was still really nervous to do it, but you know, I did a lot of research and I made a decision. And it was like supposed to dye my hair a neutral ashy tone. And so I dyed my hair yesterday with that box dye and it came out very orangey, which is just not what I was going for. I was going for a neutral and or ashy tone. That's not what my hair decided to do with that box dye. Because with box dye, like you kind of never know what you're gonna get because it depends on your undertone and just a bunch of other things with your hair. So I kind of had like a little freak out yesterday because I just did so much research and I spent so much time trying to decide. And then when I finally made a decision, it ended up still not coming out how I wanted, you know? So I got like kind of upset at myself, honestly, for a little while. But then I just decided that I'm going to go to a salon and have them fix it. And so I was able to actually find an appointment for today, even though this just happened last night, but I was able to find an appointment at the salon in Ulta for today at 2.15. And right now it's almost one. And so I have to do my makeup and get out of here soon. But yeah, so hopefully, because they can't re-dye my hair today, I don't think, because I just dyed it yesterday and that's like not healthy for your hair, but I'm pretty sure that she can tone it. And so that means that it might stay a similar like level of shade, but hopefully she can make it more cool toned or even more neutral would be fine for me. Anyway, that's what's been going on. I'm just not one of those girls who likes going to the salon. Like I rarely get mani pedis. I rarely will go get my hair done at a salon. If I'm doing something specific or special, I will, but I just try to do as much as I can by myself. And so I wanted to try the box dye and it just did not work out. And so it's also obviously less expensive to do box dye, but I think just from now moving forward, I probably will go to salons more often to, you know, keep my hair a color that I just like because my hair for the last, you know, Year or so I've developed a lot more gray hair and the bottom part of my hair basically from like here down was like a reddishy brown you kind of couldn't really tell in camera but in person if I did this in person my hair was a completely different color on top versus old box dye that had my hair a little orangey on the bottom because this was all like new root. And so I just kind of had a bunch of different colors in my hair. And so for the last year or so or six months or whatever, I've just been really focused on wanting to change it. And then yeah, I finally did and then I messed it up. So we're going to go to the salon and hopefully they can fix it. And then depending on what color it is, I might end up getting it like properly re-dyed in a couple months when it's safe to do that for my hair. I just hope that if she tones it today, it can neutralize the orange a little bit. And if she can get to cool toned, that would be great too, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I'm not as nervous as I was yesterday, but I'm a little nervous. But I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride of uh, let's hopefully fix my hair to get it to a spot where I like it. And yeah, so. I'm just gonna finish my makeup really quickly. Oh, I have my contacts in, by the way, because at the salon I have to take my glasses off anyway, and I would like to be able to see <laughs> what she's doing. Yeah, I always used to dye my hair with box dye, but I used demi-permanent box dye in the past. And so it was a little bit more foolproof, a little bit than permanent dye. But since I have so many grays now, demi-permanent wouldn't really cover them. So I tried to go permanent and then, um, yeah, again, I don't know what it's showing off in the camera. I think you can tell how orangey it is. And it's just not what I wanted. It's not what the box said would happen. It's not what I wanted. So it's okay, we're gonna get it fixed. Anyway, I have mascara on, let's do a little bronzer. 
But yeah, I man, I just used to be a box eye girl. Literally, the box color was neutral, neutral ash. Nope, I don't think so. I don't think so. Honestly, though, if this color was on purpose, I don't think it came out that bad. It just looks nothing. <laughs> it looks nothing like the box. It looks nothing like it was supposed to. So that's kind of, you know, why I'm bummed about it. Okay, Katie, stop chatting. You have to leave. <laughs> you have to leave. Okay, is my bronzer done? I guess. My mascara, I feel like, is done. I feel like I need another coat. I will film a little bit once I park so we can both see it like in the daylight because I haven't seen it in the daylight yet. And then I probably won't vlog a lot in the salon. That makes me like a little nervous to do that. I might be able to get like a second though, but then I'll definitely show you an after for sure. For sure, for sure. Ooh, this blush looks ridiculous with this hair color. It's okay, Katie. I'm telling you last night, oh, I like freaked out. Like I was crying for like an hour because I was like, I can't even make right decisions. Like I just kind of spiraled about it. So I'm glad that I'm a little calmer today. And this is one of those, you know, or you might know that I'm in this season of just changing my mindset and changing a lot of things in my life. And also even just changing my emotions, changing my reactions to things, a lot of things. God is changing a lot in me. And this is one of those things of like, okay, something, you know, went differently than you were hoping. Let's see how I can react to it still in a healthy way. And last night I did not react in a healthy way, no. So it did become apparent that it's something that God is still working on through me and that I still need to work on. I'm gonna put some earrings on. I'm gonna show you my outfit really quickly and then we are going to head out. So I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, hey guys, the mirror is a little tilted. So I think I look really tall. I don't know, regardless, hello. So this tank top was like $5 at Target. I also got these pants at Target recently and then I'm going to wear them with these Skechers that I have. Sorry, don't mind my bras drying over there. But yeah, so this is my outfit for the day. It's my really long pants because I'm like 5'3". And I'm wearing gold hoops from Amazon. I'll have them linked, I love those. And uh, also, I know you can see through this shirt and you can see this like little bra I have. I actually doubled them up. I wore a nude one and then a white one. These I also got from Target and they were, yeah, like $10 each. I think they're just like Hanes, but they're really comfy, comfy bras. And so I just have them doubled up for under the white shirt. But I also kind of like that you can see through it and see this. I think it looks kind of cool. And like that you can see the straps. I think it almost looks like on purpose, kind of. Okay, here's the outfit with the sneakers. These pants are definitely long, but I kind of like that look. And then I have on this little belt bag that I wear crossbody. And then I'm going to wear these sunglasses as well. Okay, let's go. Okay, hey guys. So I just parked at Ulta. I'm also near a sportsman, whatever that place is called, warehouse or something. But yeah, okay. So this is what my hair looks like outside in the sun. Honestly, honestly, I don't think the bottom half looks much different than it did because it was already a little bit red, orange toned brown before I dyed it. But I think it's definitely more orangey. And then up here is definitely like an orangey kind of brown. And again, it's just not what I want. So we're gonna change it. These are my favorite sunglasses, by the way, my current favorites. These are from Amazon, I'll have them linked. I love them. I'm gonna record a tiny bit outside in like the actual direct sun. And then we are gonna go into Ulta. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm also a little hungry, but I do have a protein bar in my bag that I'm probably gonna eat while she's doing my hair. Okay. Okay, let's go outside. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, outside, way too sunny. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now I can't see you at all, but this is what my hair looks like. This is the in-between, because it's not technically a before. Before would have been, you know, like last week or something. This is what it looks like right now. But okay, let's go in and see what happens. I bought new shampoo and conditioner. Basically, she was able to get most of the orange out. She actually said it was like a reddish orange. So she had to do a little bit of like a different kind of color thing in my hair to get out like the reddish and the orangish. But yeah, so she basically got 
like almost all of it out of my ends, but my roots are still a little orangey. So I'm gonna come back Wednesday for one more toning session on my roots. But let's get in the car and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more. Okay, so, okay, okay. Let me just explain what happened, what was going on. So I don't remember what I explained earlier in the video, so I'm sorry if I'm like completely repeating everything that I already said, but basically when I dyed it last night, I was hoping that it might come out like a lightish brown, maybe like a dirty blonde, like a light brown, but I was really hoping it would be cool toned. I know that I said that part, but it obviously ended up being a little orangey. And so when I went to the salon, I basically was like, can you just make it as light as possible, but also as cool toned as possible? And she was telling me that when you dye your hair a cool Cool toned color it is gonna look darker and so basically if I wanted a light brown but cool toned I would have had to bleach it just with how my hair already like was starting out a couple hours ago I would have had to bleach it and since I dyed it last night we could not bleach my hair today and so the only thing we could do today was tone it and so she toned it at the level that I'm at but obviously it just was gonna come out darker than what it initially looked like does that make sense she was just saying that cool tones look a little bit darker so if I want a cool toned light brown I'm gonna have have to bleach it and so I might do that in a few months like when it's safe and when I can afford it and stuff but at least for now she added some ash colors and like a little bit of a violet color as well and the ash has some blue and green in it oh because she said that yes it's a little orangey but it also had some red tone in it and I guess the green helps with the red and the blue helps with the orange and so she did that and then she added a little bit of violet and then it came out like this and I think it came out really pretty. I think it's a really nice color. I've had hair this color a lot in my life and I think it just looks really nice. And again, like I was kind of hoping for a lighter color, but I just knew that that wasn't really possible after my little mix up last night. And so that's okay. So let me like show you a little bit closer. So I think that from like here down, it's like a beautiful medium brown color. I think it's beautiful, but because my hair is a little little resistant uh, my roots did stay pretty orangey and so I'm gonna go back on Wednesday and she's going to retone these with more of a blue kind of color to hopefully tone this down a little bit she's not 100% sure because everyone's hair is so different but she's going to add some more blue toner up here to hopefully neutralize that a little bit more and so yeah I'm back in like a little bit of a darker brown stage of my life but I like that like it is all one color, but it still doesn't look like flat. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think it came out really nice. I think it came out really nice. And it looks really shiny, which is nice. And then I also did get a new shampoo and conditioner. I'm almost out of the one that I have at the house. And so I figured I'd just pick up a new one while I was there. And so I'll just show you what I got. I got the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. I tried this a couple years ago in like a little sample that I had, but then I also tried another Verb Conditioner, I think the moisturizing one. I tried that sample around the same time, and I know that I liked one of them and I didn't like the other, and I don't remember which was which. So I'm hoping that this is the one that I liked. And again, it was a few years ago anyway, but I'm hoping this was the one that I liked. These were $20 each. And uh, yeah, it's, it's color safe and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm gonna try this. Hope that works out. And then she also did tell me that my hair, once I wash it a few times and just if I'm in the sun, it is gonna lighten a little bit, but hopefully it will lighten and still stay cool toned or neutral. I don't even know if I would say this is like totally cool toned. I would just say it's a really pretty color. I don't actually really know what the undertone of this is. It's definitely cooler than it was for sure. But so I just kind of hope even if it does fade a little bit with washing it and stuff, which is just normal, I hope that it still just stays like this kind of tone. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the after of my little hair adventure over the last 24 hours. Honestly, last night I was just really, really stressed after I messed up my hair. But again, I have to keep reminding myself like we all grow and one of the ways that we grow is by making mistakes and honestly all that really taught me last night is that I don't think I'm gonna try to dye my hair again by myself at least not anytime soon I really used to not go to salons very often unless I was getting something drastically done with my hair so if I was going blonde from brown I go to a salon if I was getting bangs I'd 
sometimes go to a salon. But a lot of the rest of the stuff I just did at home. But at least for now with this whole experience and honestly, just with my hair changing, I have a lot more grays now. I do just think that I'm probably gonna go to the salon a little bit more often, especially when my hair grows out. I have no clue what kind of line I'm gonna have, but I really like the girl who did my hair. And so I at least like feel comfortable and safe with her while I'm living in Florida. If I need something, I can go to her. And so, yeah, just wanted to show you the little after. Let me know what you guys think. I think it came out really good. And again, I think I said this before, I've had hair this color so many times in my life. And so yes, I was hoping for a lighter brown, but this is still good. This is still good. Yeah, okay. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I got my hair done. I know I only showed a couple seconds in the salon, but I always get like a little nervous like filming inside of places like that when there's people. But I still hope that you enjoyed this video, kind of the before and after of what I did to my hair. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're subscribed for some vlogs, some cooking videos, some travel videos, a lot of videos where we're just hanging out. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.